In this short video, let us understand what is diode connected transistor. So this diode connected transistor is the configuration of the transistor where the two terminals of the transistors are connected together to make it work like the two terminal device. So in case of the BJT, to make it work like the diode connected transistor, the base and the collector terminals are connected together. And in that case, it behaves like the PN junction diode. And that is why this configuration is called the diode connected transistor. So in this condition, since the base and the collector terminals are tied together, so when we bias this transistor, then it will operate in the active region. So as you know in the active region, as per the Shockley's equation, the collector current IC can be approximately given as IS times e to the power VBE divided by VT. Or from this, the base emitter voltage VBE can be given by this expression. So for any given transistor, the reverse saturation current IS and the thermal voltage VT are fixed at the given temperature. So from this we can say that this base emitter voltage VBE is the function of the collector current. So in this diode connected transistor, if the constant current IC is flowing through the collector terminal, then the voltage between the base and the emitter or this VBE is the function of the collector current. And this configuration is widely used in the current mirror circuits. So in this current mirrors, this reference transistor is configured as the diode connected transistor. And some constant reference current is passing through the collector terminal. So because of that, we will get some voltage VBE across the base and the emitter terminal. And now the same two terminals are connected to the base and the emitter of the second transistor. That means the VBE of the second transistor is same as the reference transistor. And if the area of the second transistor is same as the first transistor, or in other words, if they are perfectly matched, then the collector current through the second transistor will be same as the reference transistor. So in this way, Using the diode connected transistor, it is possible to design the current mirror and it is possible to make the copy of the reference current. So the same concept is also used in the MOSFET, where the gate and the drain terminals are shorted together. And by doing so, the MOSFET always operates in the saturation. So using this configuration, it is possible to design the MOS based current mirrors. So in this way, this diode connected transistor configuration is mainly used in the current mirror circuits. And for more information, you can check this video on the current mirror.